our recent game section. Craig, you're going to kick us off this week with some Switch love. <laughs> Switch love. This has been something that's been a little bit lacking recently, actually. Um, and I've actually been a wee bit all over the place recently with like trying to find something to to properly grab me and get me excited. Like I've been playing Wii U. <laughs> I've been playing PSP. I've been playing. I've been on the PS3 as well. Just trying to trying to grab something. So I'm, actually, I'm just going to talk about a game that I actually cleared a few weeks ago, which is Yoshi's Crafted World. And I had, like I say, it has been a few weeks, kind of, so I, I might not remember <laughs> the finer <laughs> details. But I do remember when I beat it, I thought, like, it's a lot better than I was expecting it to be. And, like, I really liked Woolly World on Wii U. And when I first started Crafted World, I thought this it didn't feel quite as good as, um, as Woolly World. And I thought, like, I think it, it's a game that uses Unreal. Is it Unreal Four or something? So like yes. the graph, there's a there's a slight slight bit of a blur or something off the graphics, and it just it didn't quite sit right with me originally. But the more I started to get into it and stuff, and like all the just the ingenuity of all the different levels and all the just the cool ways that like enemies and like obstacles and stuff were designed and just seeing how creative the the designers have been it's like why can they not be this creative with a a 2d mario game (laughs) instead of just that new super mario Brothers style um i there's just there's quite a lot of cool stuff in the game and like i said i cleared it but there's so much more you could go back and do in in yoshi's craft world because there's um obviously there's like the flip side so like you'll go, you'll have your normal levels. You go start to finish, and there's like flowers to collect, and uh, there's probably other things to collect as well. There's the I, there's like the wee red coins that are like a sort of a staple of the Yoshi franchise, and they they've always bugged me <laughs> in a way because um, they're generally they're hidden like behind yellow coins, but there's just. I always find myself I'd be going through a level trying to collect everything and I get to the end it's like I've missed one of the red coins and it's like I don't really want to go through the level looking for it again. <laughs> so like the levels are sort of designed like there is plenty of stuff for you to go and find and that like getting from start to finish is, is really easy and then getting all the collectibles is a wee bit of a challenge but it's like because I was getting frustrated by not being able to like find maybe a coin in my first playthrough or whatever, it's like I don't really want to go through that again. But then if you don't do that, the levels are too easy to to go through. Like, so it's like there's a weird sort of balance of uh, between like too easy a challenge and too difficult a challenge. Well, it's, it's maybe not too difficult. It's the desire to actually go through them, go for everything, just maybe wasn't there. There is like. You still need to get a certain amount of flowers to be able to progress through to like, but it's not like, it's not a significantly high enough number that it's really that difficult to obtain enough anyway. Um, but like I said, you go through the levels and then there'll be like all our challenges. So you maybe go to the flip side and you have to find like three of a certain object. So you'll just go through the level and then you'll like fire eggs at things in the distance. You just sort of like keep your eye out for things. And then there may be another challenge where you have to like, uh, find I I think it's like finding the pictures or something. But I actually never really bored with that beyond beyond the first world. I kinda just went through the levels normally. And once I'd cleared the game that way I, th- I felt I actually just felt pretty satisfied that I was done, but also knowing that if I ever did get the desire to go back to it there is plenty plenty to go back there for. But um I don't know if either of you guys have, have played it or completed it yet, but it's 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 pretty good. Pretty good. I haven't. Did did you ever try it in co op? No, I did. I played Willy World in co op, but I, I haven't. I never really got the opportunity to try Crafted World. I have played the demo of Crafted World, the demo only. And actually, it's funny speaking about Willy World because I also went back and played it uh, two or three weeks ago, just briefly on the Wii U. Did the first two worlds, just sat down and just got through them. And I was surprised at how good Woolly World was. Because, I mean, I'd played 
a bit of it before and it was okay, but it didn't grab me in the way. Cause I, I'm a big, big, big fan of the original Yoshi's Island, but I thought Woolly World was right up there. The design in the levels was really cool. And I had the same opinion of as, as you after playing Crafted World that it just, like initially playing it, I was a bit like, well, this isn't really that great. But I do, yeah, after, because I know Hero of Time also really enjoyed playing it oh, on the forum. So I want to get it now. I want to give it another go. I want to play through it eventually. So I'll probably finish Woolly World. And then when I find Yoshi's Crafted World cheap, why not? But I'm, I don't know, like the art style for me, it's really cool and really interesting, but there's so, it does feel like there's something lacking about it. I can't quite put my finger on it in the same way that Woolly World was, had, feels more complete. I don't know. Am I right about that? Do you think? <laughs> <or not? laughs> yeah, well, in a way, yes. But there is still plenty. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's plenty of cool stuff to see. That's like, obviously, I, like I said, it didn't really grab me mm-hmm. initially. Like I, I'd actually played. I think it was like the first world, or the first few levels anyway, and then I just took a break from it for months, and then just decided to go back and finally, and yeah, there was a lot, a lot to like, and lots of things where you go. Oh, that that's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, like I wasn't a big fan of the original Yoshi's Island actually. I didn't didn't really like it. I uh, for me like Willy World was the pinnacle of the of the Yoshi series and when I started Crafted World I thought no, nah, this doesn't touch Willy World, but by the time I got to the end of it I thought you know what they're actually not not that far apart from each other. Mm-hmm. It's the same team, isn't it, who did them both? Yeah, good good feeling. Good feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I I want to get it and give it a go, at least, because I think I could enjoy it. I do like the aesthetic on it. Uh, and the- yeah, and uh, like all those like extra things, you know, obviously going to to find different things in the level. Like if my son was just that little bit older, it would be yes. worth going through it for him to go. Oh, there, there's that thing in the distance there, but he's he's not quite there yet. Mm-hmm. It'll come. It'll come. Um, my son has been playing uh, Warface recently, a uh, game that I'm not enamoured with, but uh, he's just starting to get into these uh, first-person shooters now. <laughs> uh, and I, I, while, you, while you were talking about that, I was thinking the same aesthetic. I, was, I, I can't even remember the name, and I'm only asking it because I want to remember in English. In Chinese, it's Mao Shen Kirby. Um, the Kirby uh, with a string. <laughs> epic Yarn. Oh, epic Yarn, yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed that game in that kind of um, cra- arts and crafts style. That was mm-hmm. good. I'm not a Kirby guy, but that game is like legitimately amazing. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Good feel as well, isn't it? Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they've kept in that arts and crafts style for at least three games now. Let's have, let's have another Kirby's Epic Yarn. Get them on, get them on Mario. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. actually, yeah, it's a good. Arts and Craft Mario on a kind of Paper Mario two D platformer, but Paper Mario style. I'd like to see that. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.